Hey, oh, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and I have a big announcement to make here today. Channel 5 Gaming is going Johnny, to. Johnny, I, I just have to ask you a question. I'm sorry. Can we cut the video? Wait, what? What's going on? Uh, look, I, I just have to ask you a question, okay? Okay. Do you, do you know the Candyland Man? The Candyland Man? The Candyland Man. Do you know the Candyland Man who lives on Licorice Lane? What what are you guys talking about? Uh, hear me out. The Candyland Man is the king of all candy, king of all kingdoms, and king of all candy kind. Just off of Licorice Lane, beyond the Peppermint Woods, lies King Candy's sugar-coated castle. The very sight, a delight to the eye, its tempting taste, a treat for the tongue. Now, here among this crowded crowd, you have been chosen to make us proud. Take the first of this year's candy crop, take it to King Candy's castle top. Once you are there, King Candy himself will proclaim and declare the start of Candy Crop Carnival. The entertainers will entertain, the festival bells will ring and ring, and all throughout the candy kingdoms, all of candy kind will sing and sing. Now, from here, make your way to the hilltop, take a left at the green gun drop, and whatever you do, do not stop. From there, your journey will be tedious and tough. You must not be tempted by candy and fluff. Most important of all, avoid Candy Cove, where stolen sweets are delivered in droves. The captain's sour candy friends, thick as thieves, take what they can before anyone sees. And every hour, he devours all the candy he can. Captain Jawbreaker is surely sure the meanest man in Candyland. <laughs> <laughs> there you guys have it candy land that's our big announcement you guys have always been asking for a let's build from me and i just didn't find it feasible so what we're doing is we're gonna bring in channel 5 gaming productions to bring you guys a let's build and we're gonna build a park that's what we're doing right channel yep. 5 gaming park yep and Floss has gone through the effort of uh, doing lots of beautiful terraforming, as you guys are seeing here in the background, as Chant. well as that. Oh, I mean, not Floss. <laughs> that, that, just, that just happened. <laughs> Chant has done a beautiful job of doing all this terraforming, which you guys are seeing in the background, and that wonderful story that you guys just heard. Um, everything is subject to change. Everything's a work in progress. But the uh, the overall concept here is we're going to build a candy land, a candy kingdom, with multiple different areas. So let's uh, let's talk about it, shall we? Yeah. So the um, this project is going to be led by myself in terms of production. So you guys will see a let's build through and through. And this is technically episode one. And this episode was brought to you by Chant. She's doing the terraforming. She is a wonderful terraformer if you guys haven't uh seen her I, well you, you did the uh background playground contest thing what was that one called yeah the uh frontiers contest for year of the dog yes and i yeah. built the terraforming i built a big backyard with the big dog yeah and, and then there was the monopoly right oh uh, yeah built huge terrain trains Yes, she's got some fantastic techniques, and yeah. I, I would say the leader in terraforming in this community. Um, so what other person to be in charge of getting everything down pat? We started off with some pretty kind of horrendous <laughs> gray blocks and, and, and roadmaps of what we wanted to do, and, and Chant did a wonderful job of working off of that to uh, what we end up with here today. So... Um, the, the overall project is, the, the concept is we, we want, want to build a park, but we also we want to do it in a timely manner. So we want your guys' help as well. So we're all going to take turns building this, and you guys are also going to be able to help us through Blueprint Spotlights. Um, we have the Blueprint Challenge that Wix has been in charge of and doing a wonderful job with that. So every couple weeks, Wix announces a new challenge and we uh you guys build and we feature them on blueprint spotlights those challenges are going to change according to where we are and what we're doing in Candyland, and that means you guys are going to have uh, a set parameters to build and your blueprints will be shown in a, a series a blueprint spotlight series 
and we're going to pick our the ones that we feel that are most appropriate to what what we need in Candyland in that area. <clears throat> and I guess it's almost like a mini contest, right, guys? I get, mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, the the best ones, the, the it's it's not necessarily what's best, but what works best for us. So the, the ones that just are most suitable and most fitting. So it's good to pay attention to the guidelines and what we what we're looking for and try to get creative within that and we will fit it into the park that so essentially all the assets the small stuff the things that we need are built by you guys and then we'll have some key players um, building and placing them we're gonna take turns so right right now it's the the core team the hot dog squad the <clears throat> Missy goods myself we're gonna take turns building placing your blueprints uh, changing things chance going to mainly be in charge of the terraforming and you can see here she's making a big cupcake right but yeah and then i delete it later <laughs> oh <laughs> it's fine <laughs> so the the whole ter terrain has been blocked out but it'll be refined and changed as we go so um we're going to be doing this park section by section and but the overall concept of the whole park is uh a candy land so let's um yeah, I think that's the main rules. Did I miss anything? Like the the, the mm. overall, we'll be building. You guys will be helping. We'll take what you've done. We'll put it in, and obviously we're gonna have some main attractions. So we'll be reaching out to some of our, you know, builders: Adrian Van Sorgen, Coaster Cad, uh, Doctor Fugo. There's a whole list of people that we have on the radar. We'll be asking certain people to come in and do some certain things, and we'll we'll make that into a I guess a, a coaster spotlight or something, right? And then we'll have Let's Builds in between. So it'll, it'll have a lot of variety, the whole series. You'll see Let's Builds like you're seeing here. Um, and each person's going to kind of take turns. One one day you'll see Wix building and we'll be talking and hanging out with him. And he'll be telling us what he's doing and why. As well as myself and Chant and Floss and maybe some more people, right? And yeah. um, all the little things like the blueprints that you guys build, we, you'll be seeing those in our blueprint spotlights. So you will... You might not see us build all the tiny, tiny details, but you'll see us placing them, and you'll see them in full detail in the blueprints. So I think everything should have full coverage. So that's the that's how it's going to work. That's how it's going to go. The con community is going to help build this. We'll drive it. I'll do production and also help. By the end of it, hopefully we'll maybe a couple months down the road, we'll have a finished park and a park spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So it should be a fun series. Um, let's talk about Candyland and what it is. So uh, we pitched around different ideas for a group project. Originally, I wanted to do, uh, what was it, Dragon's Reach from Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. That's something me and Galcian talked about from a long time ago. I think it would be fun to do a recreation of that. And then uh, Chance showed us some pretty cool uh, things that you can do with terraforming. And she was playing around with candy. And, and she sold it to us. So this is... Um, Chant gave us the elevator pitch, and <laughs> and uh, yeah, we we all loved it. So that's what we went with, and <clears throat> um, naturally that left her to being in charge of terraforming, and she's also the best for it. So we had the uh, rough idea that we want to do candy, but what does that consist of, right? So we we went to the brainstorming session, and this is what we came up with: eight different lands in one big candy land. <laughs> so mm -hmm. our first starting area um, that you guys will get to hear more about in the next episode, which you guys get to contribute to, is Fairground Farms. So what we've done is we've taken all the different mascots in the game and we have uh, changed them. So uh, Foxy is going to be our farmer Foxy. And um, she's she's in charge of all the crops. And in Candyland, candy grows on trees. Candy grows in the dirt. Candy grows everywhere. It's the Candy Land. We don't manufacture our candy. We grow it, right? <laughs> so that's what the farm is for. Um, not everything needs to be farmed there, but the idea is that there is a farm that distributes candy to other places. Um, whereas some something like um, if we jump ahead, we have something called the Cocoa Bog chocolate forms there naturally so they don't necessarily need to manufacture or grow it or whatever right yep so there are kind of there's a little bit of there's a bit of a method to this madness 
<laughs> the candy has laws and rules. I guess so um, fairground farms we want it to be like a fairground um, park something you where you see your carousels uh, in ferris wheels your kind of um, traditional fairground um, theme park attractions right and then that's all around a farm so we're basically building a what is it like a is it Knoxbury farm what's, what's the farm called uh, I don't know which one you are referring to. Anyways. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so We're yeah. not very helpful, Wix. <laughs> <laughs> Fairground Farms is going to be our starting area. It's a farm run by Foxy, and they're going to be growing crops. So we'll, we'll, we're going to have all sorts of um, crops growing up. Kitty coasters, kitty attractions, fun... Um, flat rides and there's going to be little tractors and things and distribution going out import export to other areas so that's fairground farms that's where you start off it should be it should be colorful friendly fun and attractive it should be a fun little theme park in and of itself and that's just fun. to add mm -hmm. uh the story I read earlier is just the first part of it I haven't created the rest of it but it's also referring to our first area of the park, Fairground Farms, where you start. And that's where we start our journey. So, And to note to that, um, the story, the, the, the Fairground Farms is also going to have a station, and it's going to be Foxy's Barn or something like that. And this is where we're going to have our motion, re-motion track ride that takes you throughout the whole park. We want to be able to control the seats, change the angle, if Chance telling a story, we want to face that and see what she's talking about, and we want to pass through, and the, 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 the track ride will take you from one part of the park through all eight sections of the park to the final area of the park, right? And uh, so that's our storytelling main attraction that starts in Fairground Farms. And, and that's the whole goal is this park will have a storytelling experience slash uh, attraction. And so the second place we leave into from Fairground Farms is into Cupcake Kingdom, which is run by our Cupcake Countess, which is Princess Emily. Um, she's the queen or princess of cupcakes. And we're going to have some, <laughs> it's going to be the pastries. It's the cupcakes, the cakes. I think Rohana will be a very good person to have I agree <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure Rohana's listening to this and watching this now and she's probably getting excited and getting all these ideas most likely we'll, we'll, we'll contract her to do everything <laughs> <laughs> basically so, yeah we'll dub her cupcake countess later I do want to I want to stop for a second and ask you what you're doing here in the background I am making giant ice cream mounds and I'm using these molds in order to fill them up with the terrain so that they are perfectly round and why don't, why don't you tell people about that feature for a sec because I didn't even know about this you have to turn on terrain collision so that it will collide obviously with the molds that you create um, and yeah you just kind of I don't know fill them up as best as you can look and at that it's magic <laughs> so, and it has a really nice effect when you're done. It's very clean looking. And how come with the terrain collision, it doesn't bleed through those cracks? It's just there's a certain limit, a threshold? Yeah. Um, you'll see I probably twisted the circle around a few times so that it wouldn't seep through. Because it can if you don't uh, have it solid enough, if you will. So that's a very good tip for people. Um and then look at that, she pulls it off and there's these mounds and then you can play with it from there, mesh yep. it all together and uh, you can create ice cream scoops. It's pretty darn cool. <laughs> it is. Yeah, quite amazing. Great work on that chat. So anyways, yeah, back to Cupcake Kingdom. We're gonna have that place. We're gonna probably have a, a, a castle that's made out of cupcakes or cakes. And we're gonna need you guys to make us pastries and cupcakes and all sorts of things. We'll have a fun little challenge for that. Um, you guys remember we have we have rides and things. Um, uh, did we didn't we have a specific ride that we wanted in that area? <laughs> yes, and on the map I placed down the ride. I don't remember what they were. 
Well, we'll look at it once we get into game then. I think um, it was a spinning one there. A spinning coaster, right? Because the cupcakes. Yeah, yes, yes. That was it. Definitely. Like um, a swirl top. Yeah. And, and Fairground Farms, I think we're going to go with the Caterpillar. Was that maybe? The Wendigo? I think so. Um, Gummy Gardens is an island run by Gummy Gulpy. And uh, it's going to have gummy bears and gummy worms. Anything gummy. Um, bubble gum, I suppose. All sorts of things like that. And we'll have a, a go-karts, possibly. And a boat ride. All sorts of fun stuff. It's a gulpy island. And it should be pretty cool. Then moving on to where we're looking at here. Chance spending a lot of time on this. Is the Ice Cream Mountain. Run by the Ice Queen herself. <laughs> cosmic, <laughs> cosmic cow. Um, we, are, we are modifying the mascots, but we're keeping them as much as possible as, if we can. And um, Cosmic Cow's the best fit here for the Ice Queen. We think uh, a bobsled coaster could be really fun here. <coughs> and yeah, running a bobsled around this big ice cream swirl. It should look pretty cool. This is going to be an interesting place to build because uh, it is a big mountain. We don't know how much of a park we can build here. And we're going to figure things out as we go. But the, the, the baseline, the idea that we're going for is it, it, it's all there. And I think we'll figure it out when we get there. But it's going to look like a giant mound of ice cream, as you can see here. And we'll have some caves in there and uh, all sorts of neat things. Uh, a fun little bobsled. And then uh, through passing through Ice Cream Mountain, we're going to go over to Licorice Lane, which you can kind of see off to the right here. It's a, it's a canyon, and we'll have licorice. Black licorice, red licorice. There's not a lot that we can do with licorice, so that's why we made it this kind of canyon. Just licorice strips. That will generally be for our biggest main attraction, I think. We'll either have a giga coaster or dueling giga coasters kind of going throughout the canyon. Um, and that's also run by our Lady Licorice, which was... Um, who do we have for that? The cowgirl. The cowgirl. That's right, with the whip. Licorice whip. <laughs> <laughs> and next to it, what you see here is the Coco Bog. So Chant has made this big mound that she will later turn into a big Coco... What do you call them? Monster? Coco Fudge Monster. Yep. Fudge Monster. Kind of like what you would remember from the actual Candyland board game when you were a kid growing up, right? Yep. It was a big Coco Bog Monster. <laughs> and shout out to my sister who came up with the Coco Bog name. We were stuck coming up with names. She said the Coco Bog. I think it was, she got the name from uh, Labyrinth. There was the something Bog of Eternal Stench. Remember oh. that? The Bog of Eternal Stench. <laughs> <laughs> the Bog is just an awesome word. Um, so get Coco Bog. We're going to have like a little chocolate. Everything chocolate there. That should be fun. And we'll probably have like a Lazy River. That might be cool. Or some sort of uh, dark ride. I think the Lazy River would be cool. Right? Yes. And then we have um, what's well, Candy Cove. Candy Cove is the very center, which you saw earlier when Chant was making this spiral to the center. We have the different elements of candy, which are their own entities, islands, and things of that sort. But it all whirlpools to the center, which is the Candy Cove, which is Captain Jawbreaker. We've changed Captain Lockjaw's story. He had a, what, a metal jaw? It's perfect saying that he broke his jaw on a jawbreaker. <laughs> it just works. So he's Captain Jawbreaker. He wants to steal your candy. He uh, he's the has has no yeah sorry he has um the sour candy minions sour candy minions mm -hmm. <laughs> so sour candy minions are uh, long there kind of mm -hmm. yeah and, and everything just kind of gets pooled up and junk. It, it all swirls towards the center and he hoards, steals, and piles it. So the center should just be amalgamation of everything. I mean, this stuff's all subject to change, but this is the, the core idea. And then uh, last but not least, as you pass through the Peppermint Woods, which is kind of part of Licorice Lane, it's a runoff. You saw Chant making these big, tall peppermints out of terrain earlier on. That's our Peppermint Lane. Um, and that as you pass through that, it'll take you up to um, Candy Kingdom. And that's where our Coaster King, 
which is our King Candy, is nestled up at the top there in his big kingdom. And uh, that's where our, what is it, motion track ride will end? Yeah, basically. Yep. But we'll have to have like something that just takes you back underground at the end. I don't know how it's going to work, but there'll be like this... Uh, <laughs> underground. <cute. laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty much all of it, right? Yeah. That's that's the rough core idea. Let's um, jump into game and show you guys the end product. Boom! There it is, everyone. Beautiful work on this chant. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. It still needs a lot of work, and we'll work through it as we um, put each land together. So. Look at that ice cream. <laughs> so let's take a quick look at your terrain. You chose some very particular terrain for different reasons. As you can see here, the mud works really great for our licorice. The asphalt works really good for shading and chocolate. Right? Yep. Where else did you use that? I'll, I'll use it more in probably licorice lane. And it helps just darken colors, right? Exactly. It gives shadows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the rock is great for waffle cone, um, yeah. light chocolate. As, as well as the cake itself that's not frosted. Yep. And even little shores and beaches. So very good. Or I guess that was the sand that you used there. But you have a bit, you can work with both. Yep. So you can get some shading in there. Grass, it's good for everything. <laughs> that's <laughs> Yeah. And then gummy, gummy land here. And we have snow and ice. The ice is really good just adding that texture. That you I love the texture of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then snow for our ice cream, icing, and all that stuff. So we are limited to eight, and I think you did a really good choice of uh, those are our top eight. It can, we can get a lot of effects. Look at this chocolate land. I mean, it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, all, it's all a gray block. We still have to, I mean, things will get moved around, and there's not a lot of built space to build a park right now. We push this out, pull it down, add more detail, you know, uh, yeah. carve that guy out. It's, it's all a, a gray block. Things are subject to change. We were talking about Licorice Lane the other day, and uh, you went in and carved it out even further. Just imagine a Giga Coaster dropping down there, coming back up, riding along the sides, and just licorice back and forth. It's, it'll be a cobweb of licorice. It'll be cool. And then um, C Candy Kingdom looking over everything. Look at that vista, right? Mm -hmm. Once all these areas get built up and have coasters and decorations, things that were contributed by you guys in the community, it'll be a, a beautiful ending off point. So it all does work in this what counterclockwise rotation. We start here, and it'll, it'll take us through the journey, telling us a story at every one of these pit stops, <clears throat> and then we end up here with our bad guy in the center of it all, looking everywhere hoarding stealing so um yeah lot, lots of work to do but we're gonna do it section by section so i think it, it's a good start it looks great chanted a wonderful job with this and to kind of talk about our attractions you know we we want a wendigo over here we we're thinking a spiral coaster over here with the cupcakes a go-karts in um gummy land i think a bobsled would work really good over here we're thinking a giga coaster of some sort here and then maybe a dark ride or a huntsman or a lazy river here and then we have all the appropriate we will come up with you know i think for fairground farms we'll talk more about this in the next episode as we are going to be announcing our first challenge series for you guys and what we're looking for for fairgrounds and what you can build to possibly get your items well, they will be featured on Blueprint Spotlight for sure. So that's that's a give, given, right? So you're at least guaranteed to get your items featured and seen and shared with a chance of having your items placed down in the park. We are limited on space. We're probably going to get 100 submissions. So um, we'll probably end up picking like all the ones that will work and we have space for. Some things we'll want to get in, but we can't fit. Some things we sneak in. We'll, we'll see how it goes, right? Yep. And then we'll get <clears throat> someone to design us a coaster around it all, themed around everything that we get you guys to build. And based off of what everyone contributes is going to help shape up what we do, what we change, and what what kind of ideas spark from that. So it's a give and take, back and forth, collab that involves anyone and everyone. It's a great way for everyone to participate. 
I think that's fun, right? Absolutely. So mm -hmm. can't wait to see what you guys build. Me too. Yeah. So it takes our whole concept of concepts to a collab, and I quite like that. It's something unique and fresh, and uh, hasn't been done before. So we're bringing bringing something new to Planet Coaster. Boom. So there you go, guys. That's that's Candyland. And um, stay tuned for the next episode, Fairground Farms. We're going to talk a little bit more about Fairground Farms, what we're looking for, and what we want in the challenge series that Wix is going to announce. And you guys can get building. And then hopefully next week, we will review all the candy that you guys have made for us. And Yay. then the Let's Builds begin. Very awesome. Boom. So thank you again once again, Chant, for this amazing terrain and the video. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Getting things kicked off to, with a bang for us. And uh, thank you to Wix for s setting up and running the Blueprint series. No worries. So looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be fun and fresh, and I'm excited, and I can't wait to see what you guys do. So be sure to check the next video for Fairground Farms and what you're going to be building for us. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye. Bye.